Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Spiffing Brit and welcome to the Steam Summer Sale or Steam 3000 Summer Sale. Evidently we're in the future, but naturally we're in the future. And of course Steam hasn't fixed all of their glaring exploits. Now, today I'm going to be showing off a very, very interesting Steam feature which absolutely no one has heard of and no one has exploited yet. But that ends today, as we're effectively going to be opening the Pandora's box of Steam exploits. And all we need to do it is one simple game. Now for the Steam Summer Sale, there's a whole bunch of amazing great games out there that we could be playing. Like for example, we could pick up some brand new fresh games just released onto Steam, like Restaurant Simulator, or my personal favorite, the legendary Simba the Cat. I mean, this is right here, 20 pounds worth of gameplay. I mean, there's like so much going on. Who knows what's in this game? But alas, instead of looking at a brand new release from the legendary Salvo La Monica, we're going to be going back into the past to find the most overpowered and broken game of all of Steam's history. And I'm not talking about Cyberpunk 2077. I'm of course talking about the greatest game of all time, Flock. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Flock is a very simple game. It's a game about herding sheep in a flock. You've got to protect your cornfields, lock up your livestock, and guess what? It's even newly updated with rabbits and a giant carrot. That's right, this game had an update. Although, sadly, that's kind of the last thing this game got, because the game was developed by Proper Games, a British developer based out of Dundee in Scotland, and sadly, they kind of went a little bit bust. They only made two two games, both of which didn't exactly perform, but this one was actually published by Capcom, if you can believe it. It's part of the Capcom summer sale. I mean, when I think of Capcom, I think of Flock. But the interesting thing here is that this game is effectively caught in a little bit of an awkward limbo, whereby sure it was released in 2009, it was dumped onto Steam, but once it was on Steam, it's practically been completely abandoned. And that's completely fine, you know, the developers are gone, they've completely disappeared off of the face of the planet, and the game is technically 13 years old, so I mean, that's that's completely fine, you don't need to keep it updated. But the problem here does not lie with the legendary game of Flock, which I would like to say is a very positively received game. The issue with Flock lies in the way that Steam actually allows you to own and digitally transfer games. And the best way to explain this completely broken part of Steam is to just buy the game. So yes, that's right, I'm going to buy myself the legendary game of Flock. So there we go, we have Flock installed. It is right here and it is amazing. Now, one very important thing to do, do not play Flock. Flock. Oh my goodness, actually, I'm just having a blast from the past. Look at this. This is, um, someone did a YouTube Let's Play of this game? A flock? I'm sorry? Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I mean, the thumbnail art alone is just absolutely fantastic. Well done, Jadefire 2013. This is truly glorious. Anyway, it's time for us to install this legendary game, all 206 megabytes of it, which, as you can imagine, doesn't exactly take that long. It's quite a small game. It's no Call of Duty Warzone where you need, like, seven SSDs to run the bad boy. No, it's it's Flock. And now that we've got it downloaded, you might want to play it, but don't play the game, okay? What you need to do, instead, right-click on Flock here, go down to Manage, and you'll find this little thing called CD Keys. Now, lots of games on Steam have CD Keys. This is because, basically, digital games often have keys tied to them just to basically prove that they are valid and they're legitimate copies of the game. Now, Flock doesn't actually require you at any point to enter this code to prove that you have a valid copy of the game, but a lot of Capcom games just kind of require you to have a CD key. So, Flock got a CD key. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually copy this CD key and we're just going to store it. It's just a little CD key, it doesn't matter, but just make sure you write it down somewhere and leave it alone. Now what we're going to do is something very interesting. We're going to get rid of Flock. That's right, we've just downloaded the game and so naturally it's time for us to refund it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into here and you're just going to say I'd like a refund. And I'm going to quite simply say that I purchased this by accident, which is very true. I don't actually want to buy Flock this Steam summer sale. I would much rather buy literally any other game. So well, bam, I've purchased this by accident. I'm going to submit the request. And now we just have to wait for some lovely Steam employee somewhere to remove Flock from our account. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Day two. Right, and a day and a half has passed and the game has now been fully refunded. As you can see here, we have to purchase it. We got all of our funds back in our account and we can do something very interesting. We can copy the code that we actually got from the game when we bought it. Go down here into the bottom left and add a product on Steam. Steam, press next and just enter in our code. This is the code we got when we bought the game. And what we're going to do is we're going to use it to activate the game. So we press next and uh, activation successful. Your product activation code has successfully been activated. Uh, this is kind of a problem because we bought the game, got the code for buying the game, then refunded the game and then used
use the code we got for buying the game to buy the game for free. Well, we didn't buy it at all, actually. We just activated it. And you might be thinking, well, Spiff, pretty neat trick. You just bought a game, refunded it, and got it for free. Nice, that's uh, not exactly changing the world or groundbreaking. And sure, it's a fun exploit, but like, come on, haven't you got anything more? And the answer is yes. Because you see, we didn't just activate a new copy of Flock. We've activated an endless copy of Flock. Because what we can now do here is we can press finish. We have finished with Flock. We've got it activated. We we can play it, we didn't even pay for it. But now, if we go down here into Manage and then CD Keys, well, something very special happens. It's given us a new product code. That's right, it's just generated a new one. Now, this product code isn't the same as the last one. It's completely different. The last one started with a Q, this one starts with an N. But it's a CD key for Flock, and it's apparently the one tied to this account. Except it's not the one tied to this account, because we already have Flock on this account, and we activated it not using this CD key, which means this CD key that Steam has just given us for a game that we didn't pay for, it's just given us a new free key. This creates an additional problem because what we can now do is we can take that key, write it down and keep it safe, and then we're going to move to a different Steam account. Now, here we are on my Steam speedrun account. If you don't recognize it, it's from a live stream I actually did today, whereby we got a Steam account from level one to level 141 in the span of an hour and a half. But most importantly, this account doesn't own many games. In fact, it only owns one paid game, Legends of the Keepers. So let's add a new paid game to it. This time it's Flock. So we're going to activate a product on Steam. I agree. Enter in the product code for Flock. Now effectively what we're doing is like Steam code inception. We found the code within the first code and now we're using the code within the code to make a new code. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to activate this product and we're bam. We've got a new copy of Flock has just been activated on this account. I mean, it's just, it's absurd. It's absolutely absurd. So we're bam. We can press finish we have a new copy of Flock. Now remember, the last code we used started with an N, it then had a W. So now if we press manage and go to CD keys, oh, but but that's that's another new code for Flock. That's the third copy of Flock. Gabe, it, sh it, it shouldn't be working like this. It's like, this is Todd Howard levels of shenanigans at this point. I mean, just... Uh, who is profiting from this? I don't know. Who is losing money from this? I don't know. I don't think anyone is. I mean, this game is abandoned. Its developers have gone bankrupt. And sure, Capcom exists, but I doubt Capcom is actively necessarily collecting the royalties from Flock. Where are the keys coming from? Who's paying for them? Why are they being generated? Why is it not setting off any red flags anywhere? Well, who cares? Because we've just got ourselves a whole bunch of Flocks. Now, you probably sat there thinking, Spiff, okay, this is great. You found a way to effectively print infinite CD keys. What are you even going to do with these CD keys? Well, in an ideal scenario, one thing we could do is just chain this code on forever. Every entire person in the comment section just enters in their flock code, one person takes it, uses it, and adds the next flock code. This process continues forever until all 7 billion human beings on the planet own at least one or two copies of the hit game Flock. But maybe you're not sold on that. Maybe you're thinking, look, Spiff, I don't care about playing the world's greatest UFO-based sheep herding game. And for a start, you're wrong and stupid, but also I completely understand what you mean. You're sat there thinking, Spiff, okay, what other games does this work with? And the answer to that is, well, we don't really know. We know why the system is doing this, and we can definitely reproduce it, but I haven't been able to build a comprehensive list of every game this is going to work for, and for obvious reasons I'm not exactly going to be naming the games that do, because Flock is a very unique scenario whereby no one really cares for this game anymore, so I doubt Steam is going to care if an extra 70,000 people, you know, just suddenly start owning Flock without paying. But of course this exploit raises a much more important point at one of the issues within Steam, which is the fact that it is possible to trick Steam to generate CD keys. For a product that you have purchased and then since refunded, and the refund has completely gone through and you've got all of your money back. Now this exploit of course won't work with most modern games. Things like Elden Ring don't exactly have their CD keys stored here. But relatively older games like Flock from pre-2010 and post-2010, well, there's a decent chance you might be able to pull this off. But seeing as I've been able to get this game for free, I think everyone should be able to get this game for free. Not everyone has time to do an exploit. Not everyone can be bothered doing one. And so that is why I want to start a campaign. A campaign for change. A campaign to free the flock. I want to see hashtag free the flock in the comment section. And I want this game made free. If I get to play it for free, the world should play it for free. Steam, Capcom, Scottish developers, if you're still there, make this game free. Let the world enjoy UFO-based sheep herding. Maybe, just maybe, we will finally 
secure world peace. Anything is possible when you free the flock. But anyway, I want to see actually how far I can keep this chain going, so I'm going to hop onto my Discord, grab a hold of a VIP or two, and see if they can actually pull this off themselves. So I'll be back in a minute once I've found myself a willing test subject. So, um, I'm gonna give you a key to activate, and it's gonna be a key for flock. And this is gonna be a magical key, because you're going to activate the key, then you're going to right-click on flock, press view CD key, and it's gonna give you an entirely new key. Oh, key. it's like a virus it, uh, <laughs> spreads. It is in fact different. There you go, that's an entirely different code. Okay, um, who wants to go next for their copy of flock? I'm installing it right now. I'm installing flock right now. I'll, I'll put my key next. Oh, there's the latest flock code. Thanks, Teddy. Yeah, I got I wonder what video you might be working on right now. <laughs> so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This has been our lovely exploit adventure of Flock. We've proven not only that you can print infinite Steam keys plus one, but also that pretty much anyone can do it and you can share this code and this beautiful game with all of your friends. Because why give your friends and family something else for their birthdays or Christmas when you can give them the gift of Flock, the greatest gift one could wish for? Anyway, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Spiffing Brit. If you've enjoyed today's video then why not consider subscribing as always a massive thank you to each and every one of our lovely patrons and youtube channel members and if you're sat there wondering what video to watch next look no further than this one on screen now hand chosen by myself to be perfect for you anyway i'll see each and every one of you lovely sausages in the next one go have fun and go herd some sheep release your inner welshman